We got to talk about uh, what's going on with Biden's popularity. I, I just had this really interesting conversation with my aunt. Well, it's not, I don't want to overstate it. Okay. Uh, but she has always voted Republican. And they are basically like, I don't know, they don't want their taxes to go up type of Republican. They, but, they're, but they also are Fox, they watch Fox News. Mm-hmm. Are they New England Republicans? Yep. But, yeah. but, 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 but like the New England the Scott Republicans Brown, are different uh, yes, than regular Yes, rest of but they still, Scott Brown is, you know, they still buy all the negative stuff about Democrats. It's just, right. they, they could vote against Trump. And I mean, she hates Trump, hates Trump. She's like, and I said, uh, she, she said, she said to me on the phone, she goes, it's, it's all the Republicans who refuse to take the vaccine. It's mostly Republicans. I was very surprised because I thought, like, I've been working on it for years. Like, I mean, we, uh, I remember, you know, her husband was a car dealer mm-hmm. at the time. And I remember telling my dad on the phone, like, tell Uncle Eddie we're not going to buy cars from them if, if they vote for Nixon uh, back in 72. Mm. It's just uh, dating myself. But she said, um, the Republicans are, are idiots. They won't do this. And I said, what do people think about DeSantis down there? And she said, well, all my friends think that he's an idiot. And he just, and she's like, and it's funny to hear like there, does, does she just, does he just love Trump? Why does he do this? Does he just love Trump? And I think she literally meant like, is he just like a big Trump fan? And I'm like, no, it's, it's all the voters. Trump is a reflection if, of the Republican voters. Yeah. I wonder if her uh, friends would just, like, they may think he's an idiot, but still vote for him anyway. For DeSantis. Yeah. I don't think so. But she did say this. She goes, I'm afraid Trump's going to win in 2024. And I said, yeah, I don't think that's a completely unfounded fear. She goes, Joe Biden's just not up to the job. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? Like, what? Like, you know, she's not complaining like he's not canceling college debt i heard the same stuff you know and i you know i didn't get into it too much because she i I know i've done this before like you know what does that mean well he just doesn't seem like he's up to the job the economy is booming i mean i and particularly like for her right like she's not worried that we're not doing enough for house people i mean this is like the type of voter who it's like i'm just curious like what does this even mean to you because if I told you the stock market was up, that GDP was up, that joblessness is down, that more people have jobs, um, like like you would, and and it was, you know, I don't know, George Bush, you'd be like, the economy's booming. And, but yet, the right-wing talking points have like convinced her that Joe Biden's not up to the job. And it has nothing to do with the complaints that we would have about Joe Biden. No. Um, it has to do with his competence, which is fed into by the fact that he's basically invisible and also, you know, sometimes like slurs his words and stuff. I mean, they're trying to basically make a competency. He's too old. He doesn't have control of this claim. And, um, and the, for some people it's working. And part, and I think part, honestly, part of the problem is, it's just like all of the, the dilly dallying that he caused with the Build Back Better bill by inviting Republicans into the process. Just get it done. Much better, much better for these people to say, Joe Biden's out of control. He's a, uh, he's a, a, an authority, like a, he doesn't, it's my way or the highway. That's the critique that you want if you're Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. He's just getting stuff done without consulting Republicans would have been the best type of critique he had instead of like, it's taken them, uh, you know, nine months to get to maybe we're going to have a vote on my signature issue. So much of what I mean, maybe what we're zeroing in on is that there's a lot of voters that just want the president to project strength and want to feel like America's in a good position. And if they don't feel that way, that's they're just going to take it out on the president. And, it, and them feeling that way is so like influenced by just whatever the the consensus is they're gonna do that but my point is is what you have to do i think is you have to be on the offense to prevent to prevent because you cannot defend against that i agree exactly i agree